Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am back again with some more fabulous celebration goodies. Um, I told you guys I would be on a lot this week to share with you guys um, inspiration for celebration items that perhaps you may have already received um, and earned, um, or to give you inspiration and ideas for things um, that you can hurry up and get before celebration ends next Monday. Um, so yeah, we're less than a week left of celebration. Um, today I'm sharing with you the awesome otters. Um, this is just so precious. Um, super cute with the little, um, him holding the little fishy, um, splish splash, and then just a little hooray otter, um, that's super cute with the, uh, with the party hat. And then of course there's, it's birthday time and you're otterly awesome, um, which those actually go really great. Uh, you could always do this as the front greeting and this is the inside greeting. Um, or you could not do a birthday and just do your otterly awesome and send that, um, to anyone anytime. Um, I also think these are super cute for kid cards too. And, um, and I need kid cards. Like I do really well with, um, with like floral cards, but I always feel like those are like not for kids. Um, and then I do masculine cards. I usually, once I find one, I make a million of them. So I got that, but it's the kid cards that I also struggle with. Um, again, I'm all like flowers. I can do rainbows though and unicorns. Those are fun. So anyway, I'm sharing with you uh, these um, samples. I did these two. I did get the inspiration um, for this card from Laura Mulligan, a fellow demonstrator, um, when we did some swaps together. So I love that. Um, getting ideas from um, fellow demonstrators is always fabulous. Hers is a little bit different, and I just modified mine a little bit differently. Um, like this one was kind of like my first basic one, um, and I have those little uh, rhinestones on there. You can see it says utterly awesome. And then I thought I would do um, one with the birthday greeting. And so I added like the party hats and stuff. So this also uses the uh, rainbows and or sunshine and rainbows um, celebration designer series paper. Uh, so that is super fabulous because that is another item um, that you can earn for celebration as well. So for this card, I actually used a thick uh Thick basic white for the card base. I like to use the thick um, for card bases. Whenever I do um, like a white or a vanilla card base, I usually like to use the thick just because it's nice and uh, a little bit more sturdy than, um, than the regular basic white. So then this print pattern um, sort of has those like lines in it. So it kind of looks watery maybe. Um, it's got stripes on the back side. So I'm adding this. This is a full um, five and a half. So it goes all the way across. A little extra adhesive there on my desk so that we can glue down our project later. And I wonder why it's stuck. So I just have to trim a little bit off. And these, why are those scissors the first ones that are out? <laughs> Usually I use my paper snips, but they were just like right there as my desk is a hot mess. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, but anyway, next we have um, a piece of Whisper White. This is like a lot of white on white on white, um, but I still think that's super fabulous. Um, I'm missing some pieces. Here's So then I used uh, this striped piece. And it's got like the swirls. You could also use those swirls um, for this bottom piece here. And I know like mine go side to side. These go up and down. Um, that's because this is like the last piece. So like I cut, I cut all of these pieces for those cards. And then I had this leftover piece at the end. So it's going to go up and down. So this just goes across the top here on this piece of white. And then I don't know, do I need to make this one a birthday one or not? Let's go ahead and do birthday if I can find my um, pool party ink pad, which I cannot find that. Sorry, you got like a nice little up close and personal of my face there. Okay, so this I actually just stamped that party hat all around just this way, that way, and every which way um, on this top part. 
I can't believe that one, celebration is almost over, but two, March is Alex's birthday and he's going to be one. How crazy is that? Just one year ago, I was giant and miserable. <laughs> Shout out to all of those who have been around uh, long enough. Have you been around for a year? Um, give me a shout out if you've been around for a year and you remember this time last year when I was super pregnant with Alex. Shout out to the OGs who remember my pregnancy with Claire. <laughs> and so I just stamped a little um, extra party hat on the inside just for a little extra fun. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our memento and I'm going to take a piece of scrap white and stamp down the otter, the little swimming otter. And then I'm going to color him in. But I'm actually not going to color him on camera because... Coloring just takes me forever. Um, so I'm going to show you. You can either use your um, layering circles um, dies to be able to die cut him out. But I also still have my circle punch because even though it's retired, um, Stampin' Up! had the circle punches and I have the two and a quarter. And while it is retired, I still like to use it sometimes because that is just so much easier than die cutting. Um, and so I punched out both my little guy and a piece of the heart paper. So this has, you can see there's like so many fabulous um, pool party patterns in that Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper. There's the little stripe here, there's the hearts, there was those squiggles that's on the back of this piece. So many fabulous prints like that, um, which we can also um, stamp our birthday greeting on here and add that to our card front. So it's party time, birthday party time. And I am going to do the awesome otter on the inside. So I see that there's potential for another crazy winter storm coming our way, you know, because it was 60 degrees yesterday. Um, why not add some snow and ice to the forecast? I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I'm ready for spring. Come on, spring, please, please. So there we have you are utterly awesome. Little party hat. And then I'm going to add this piece with dimensionals to the front. And after all, the Winter Olympics are over. Winter Olympics. They're over, so it's time to move on to prepare for Summer Olympics. I don't know. <laughs> um, I know the Summer Olympics aren't coming this summer, but um, yeah, I'm so ready for it. I'm super giddy excited about um, what I have planned for Alex's cupcakes, and you guys know how much I love to bake and decorate cupcakes, so um, I... We'll definitely be showing you guys. I am doing cupcakes, um, like rainbow cupcakes. You guys know how much I love rainbows too. Um, sunshine and rainbows. And uh, and then I'm going to do like a cake cake for him. So I don't really know what I'm going to do for the cake cake, but it'll be rainbows for, because um, since he was born on St. Patrick's Day this year, I'm kind of doing like a St. Patrick's Day green theme. And it's going to be all about like shamrocks and lucky, lucky one, like he's our little lucky one. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. Okay, so I'm not actually going to color him right now. I'll color him later. But I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to cut him out, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna cut him out right along the water. So it's just like a rough cut along the water, up and around his ear, because we don't wanna cut that off, over his head, around the other ear, because we still don't wanna cut it off, down and around the little splash, 
and on the waves. Okay, and then we need to round out some of these that I was a little jaggedy on. Okay, so I'm still going to color him. Again, just not coloring him right now. And then he is just going to layer right over the top of that. And see how fun that is that both of these are the same size of circle. And he layers oh so cutely right there. And then that's just going to go right on the card. And then I'm going to add some iridescent rhinestones. Ta-da! They're so beautiful. And I have my little take your pick tool. So we're going to push a little rhinestone. Whoop. I need more putty on the tip of that one. And add that there. Add this one here. And add a third one like up top there. So whenever I add this, then it's going to kind of pop off the top a little bit. So depending on where you add it, you can either do all... Um, all adhesive like that, or you can always add a little dimensional up top there so that it's nice and level. And then, um, and then I'll add dimensionals to him to pop him up to make him look like he's like floating in the water. Like see, see how it makes him look a little bit more like 3D and floating. So you are utterly awesome. Let's see, this one I didn't actually decorate on the inside. Did I do anything on this one? No, I didn't, but I do love this. So I'll probably add a little party hat and stuff like that to the insides of these as well. But I just wanted to show that um, to you and give you guys a little inspiration um, if you have the Awesome Otters Celebration stamp set. So a little inspiration for you to, um, to get out that stamp set and use it. Oh, also for the party hat on this one, I actually stamped on some of the designer series paper and then um, and then just rough cut it out. Um, but whenever I did this card in one of my stamp classes, um, some of the ladies actually stamped this on white, colored it with the Stampin' Blends, and then, um, and then it popped a little bit more. And I actually liked theirs better than I liked mine. So, um, you could do it either way. You could either stamp it on white and, um, and cut, color it any color you wish. Um, or you could always stamp it right on the designer paper and have that, um, that fun print and everything. So. Let me know which one you guys like. Do you like the um, the birthday time one or do you like the awesome otter um, one without the birthday theme? So let me know which one you guys like. And, um, and yeah, stay tuned. I will be back again. Um, I have more celebration goodies to share with you guys this week and into um, next Monday, which is the final day of celebration. I left a link in the description so that you guys can um, shop and earn your celebration items before celebration is officially over. Don't forget, if you have a really long wish list, maybe um, maybe now is your time to join Stampin' Up! Uh, and um, and be a demonstrator. And um, when you s sign up uh, through the end of the month, so during celebration, you actually get $125 in product plus two free stamp sets of your choice. So any dollar value. So that is super, super fabulous. Pick the high ones. Um, that's what I always think to do is to pick the most expensive stamp sets on my wish list um, to get the most bang for my buck. Um, but yeah, and then you'll have uh, a discount on all your future projects and um, favorite product, as well as joining my fabulous friends team um, and having so much more fun stamping. So yeah, if that's something uh, that you're interested in, uh, then let me know. Um, I can send you the link for that. Uh, you can also just go to my um my blog, laurastamppad.com, and the join now uh, button. But if you have any questions, I am an open book and happy to answer any of those for you. So uh, you can ask on that as well. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Love, hugs, and prayers to all of you guys. Hopefully we don't have any crazy weather. <sighs> it was 60 degrees yesterday. I sure hope not. Come on, spring. Have a good one, everyone. Bye!